we have a big task to do today and that is to clean this Razer RGB Chroma keyboard keyboard <laughs> mouse pad this is my Razer mouse pad um, I have been using it for a year and it's mostly dirty where I use my mouse if I have to scratch it you can see all the marks and I have today um, detergent, a sponge and just some water I'm just gonna wing it so this is I have no idea how much to put it, but uh, okay. And put this in. And guys, I just realized I forgot to unplug the mouse pad, so please do not do that mistake. I'm gonna unplug that now and we'll continue with the cleaning. Try to avoid the corners uh, so as not to ruin the stitchings, but I try to go soft. Okay, while well, we are almost done scrubbing, uh, I still feel like it's kind of dirty here. I can see like a bit of a yellowish patch. So, <laughs> I will try to wipe this down a little more. Okay, so now while it's wet, I'm gonna use the same sponge to try and catch some water back into here. Yeah, so this is her. oh my god, it's yellowish. Or is it just no? Okay, it's just it's just a sponge. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze out all the water from here. And try to get as much water back on this sponge. After the first scrub, uh, I can still see like there's a little bit of a yellowish tinge around the sides, and there's a stubborn mole. I think you can see it's right here. So I decided that I'm gonna try using alcohol spray. I don't know if this would work or not, or whether I'm supposed to use it or not. But I'm just gonna wing it and we'll see. It's day two today and I've actually have my mouse pad back on my desk. I have actually let it air dry a whole lot of yesterday and today and it's all dry now. It's really cleaner than I expected and when I scratch it, there's like no more marks already. Uh, I'm pretty pleased and that shall mark the end of my video and I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you guys next time for the next one. Bye bye!